Hi, I am Jensen and I am just so excited to be making this video right now because it means that I am in the optimal thyroid range for the first time in my life. <laughs> um, I recently got my thyroid blood work back. I had my doctor, he's been testing my, my TSH and my T3, my free T3, my uh, free T4, all of that for the last couple of years pretty regularly. We have tried literally everything. I've gone on crazy, um, crazy diets where I've eliminated gluten and dairy and sugar and alcohol, everything, and I got sicker and sicker and sicker. <laughs> and it was, it's been very frustrating. Um, but as of today, I am in the optimal range and I feel fantastic. I knew that I was feeling really great and I was actually really excited to get these results back because I have had so much energy for the past couple of months and I've just been feeling so great. So um, what I did back in September actually was I finally started following my results from my hair tissue mineral analysis lab. Um, and this is actually why I do HTMA for my clients. Um, I just believe in it wholeheartedly. And so I wanted to show you guys just really quickly my personal HTMA results, my thyroid marker on there and what it, the information that it gave me. And then I'll show you my uh, thyroid blood work and you can see the optimal ranges that I'm in. So uh, we are all completely individual. <laughs> what worked for me won't necessarily work for everybody else, but what I am just trying to get out there is that it's really important to test your mineral levels to really understand what's going on in your body. So let me flip the camera around and I will show you my screen and uh, show you the thyroid marker. All right, so here is my hair tissue mineral analysis lab. You'll see that it has single mineral levels like my calcium, magnesium, sodium, and potassium. Um, it also shows my heavy metal levels. You can see that I have some arsenic. Um, but also, what, or, but what I wanna focus on is the CAK ratio or the calcium to potassium ratio. This is also known as the thyroid ratio because the thyroid hormone controls calcium in the body via the production of calcitonin. So basically the higher the calcium, the lower the thyroid gland activity. And then um, potassium is associated with the sensitivity of the tissues to the thyroid hormone. And so when potassium is low, thyroid hormone is poorly utilized. So um, basically, too much biounavailable calcium decreases cell permeability. So based on my blood results um, at this point in time, I actually was showing to be in the normal thyroid range, but not in the optimal thyroid range. But based on my CAK results, which are literally off the charts, it's showing that I am definitely hypothyroid and that I needed to get this under control. So um, I, was, I was having all of the tendencies that come with hypothyroid, but according to my blood results, it was showing that I was actually fine. So what I did is I followed my hair tissue mineral analysis results um, for you know correction. I followed the nutritional plan based on my results and um, I was able to completely change, um, completely fix my thyroid problems. Grab of the Excel sheet that I use to track all of my labs that I get back each month or couple months. Um, so you can see here that I have, that I got this back on the 6th of this month. Um, I'm eight months postpartum. I'm not taking any medication. And then this is the full thyroid panel that I always ask them to test. Uh, these are the stated ranges that you would get from your doctor, but the optimal ranges for my age at being 30 years old and in my reproductive years are as follows and then my little cheat sheet notes as well. So you can see that I am uh, under that 1.5 for optimal range, I'm at 1.47 finally. <laughs> All right, I think that's gonna be it for today. I'm trying to keep these videos short and sweet. And so in the next video, I will share with you the nutritional strategies that I used based on my HTMA results that really helped me lower my thyroid numbers and um, feel so much better. So stay tuned. Uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at Be Your Own Advocate, or you can find my website at www.beyourownadvocate.life. Thanks.